SA Tourism has taken its efforts online. The recent launch of their new Big Five website now allows for live interaction with the most famous members of our animal kingdom, lion, elephant, buffalo, rhino and leopard. The new Big Five website that we've launched at South African Tourism is really just a new way for us to be able to um, show content around a, a topic that everyone is very familiar with. Uh, the reason why we wanted to do it a little differently to the normal boring picture and words is because Big Five is one of the big things that we're, we're known for and the content available to us now, the internet allows us to, to experience that content very differently. So it's not like a brochure that we're trying to promote, it's really far more immersive. And when I say immersive, I mean that we really want to give the consumer or the person using the site the opportunity to really experience full video, see beautiful imagery, learn a little bit about the, the, um, the content that they may not have known, but do it in a fun and engaging way. The aim of the website is to inform people as well as to inspire them with its unique content to visit South Africa. It's programmed and designed to interact live with online users. We try and do two things in all of our web work. Um, the first is we're trying to inspire people. We want to be able to give inspirational content so that people would look at South Africa differently. And then the second part of that is to inform them. We have to be able to do the inspiration work and also provide the information to support it so that they can learn more about South Africa. So if we don't do those two things, then we miss the opportunity to use web for what it's really built for and what it really de um, delivers really well. So again, it's about inspiration and information. And if we don't do that in an impactful manner, we lose the opportunity to make a great impression. Adam Oxford, Editor-in-Chief at Hypertext Media, shared his excitement about the website. What I, I really like about the model is that they're looking at how to do storytelling well on the web. Um, and, and that really appeals to me as a journalist. I think it's, it's looking at not just how to present information, um, but how the, the digital nature of the platform allows them to tell the story of, of, of what the Big Five are, where you can find them, how you can see them, what are good times of the year to come, and all of those kinds of things that we traditionally um, expect from newspapers, magazines and books. And they're looking, they're, they're looking at bringing that into, into uh, a marketing situation. I think, I think they're doing it really well. The focus on refurbishing the online website is a step in the right direction, as travel is the most important product sold online. According to Stats SA, tourism arrivals to South Africa grew by 10.5% for the first six months of 2012, more than double the global average of 5% for the same period. Online is where 90% of travel decisions are being made on, uh, at the moment. So we can't ignore the fact that people are asking their friends where they should go, what they should do, where they've been. Uh, they're sharing those experiences in social places. Um, the other thing is that um, travel in the States at the moment is the number one sold commodity online. So digital for us is really where we're paying a lot of attention. If we don't give people the information to make their decisions online, uh, we, we're not going to be able to see more arrivals come to South Africa and for South African tourism that's the, one of our most important measures is are we getting more people to come to South Africa for business tourism and for vacations, for holiday and leisure tourism. So the work that we do online is very important and it's not just limited to websites. Um, we do a lot of work with TripAdvisor and Expedia where consumers are spending a lot of time as well but also we have to pay attention to the devices that people use so it can't just be about the, the site and how it looks on your, on your laptop. It has to work well in your mobile device, it has to work well in social spaces. And putting all those things together means that we constantly have to, to shape and form the user experience to make South Africa attractive and to bring people to that decision where they go, I have to come and experience South Africa, there's no place like it on Earth. Some of the features of the Big Five website are large images of the animals and descriptions about where, when and how to find and see them. We really want to be able to give people the opportunity to experience the Big Five um, online in ways that they haven't been able to before. So that's really where the focus lies. Um, we want to be able to make the content far more immersive and we want people to spend time 
engaging with the content. We don't want them just to kind of scan through it and move on to the next thing. We want them to actually have some fun. So some of the games that we've built into it and some of the, the, um, the content that's really big video, big beautiful imagery, we want them to actually enjoy their time when they're engaging with that Big Five content. The website is designed to attract international as well as local tourists. We, we always have three users that we, we pay very careful attention to. Um, people who've been to South Africa, obviously they're great advocates for us and they love to talk about what, the, what amazing experiences they've had in South Africa. People who have never thought of coming to South Africa, those are the people that we're very eager to try and um, get them to consider coming to South Africa. So the way that we approach them is different to people who have come. And then the third is actually South Africans, you know, people who need to discover more uh, of what South Africa has to offer as a South African. So those are the three big user groups that we pay attention to. And the way that we do the campaign work and the way that we prepare the content for those users is slightly different, but very important. Depending on what country you access the site from, when you type in the URL southafrica.net, you will be transported to a unique experience designed for your region. Well, if you go to southafrica.net, that's our primary web property. That's where all of the really good stuff lives. Um, and it's also built especially for all of our core markets. So when you visit southafrica.net coming from the US or from the UK, you'll see a slightly different website. Um, South Africans will see the, the Big Five content right up in your face. Um, we really want to be able to promote the content and the, and the updates to the website as, as, uh, as much as possible. So when you land on southafrica.net, you'll see access immediately to the Big Five content, which is a totally different experience. And we take you into that Big Five um, experience um, to, to give you that whole experience differently to what you would find on southafrica.net. So that's where you would need to go to get hold of it. Joining me now in studio to take the discussion further is William Price, Global Manager for eMarketing at South African Tourism. William, thank you so much uh, for making the time to join us. Of course, very exciting uh, looking at your new website uh, that you've revamped. Why did you decide to do this and how different is it from the ordinary offering? Well, a couple of things. Uh, we, we're very well known for Big Five, so taking that content and really making it immersive was, was really what we were trying to do. Technology today allows us to do a lot more than three or four, five years ago, where it was just picture and words. Mm -hmm. So the Big Five content really is, is an experiment for us, and it's gone really, really well to try and get something that we're well known uh, presented in a new and exciting way, and the tech has just, has just been delivering some amazing results for us, so we're very excited. Of course, this uh, would uh, mean that it's also reflecting a, a global trend. How big is uh, tourism uh, trade on an online platform? Well, in the States, it's the number one sold commodity online, so we can't ignore that. Um, mm. Over 90% of travel decisions are being made online at the moment, so as a, as a medium and as a channel, um, it's really where we're investing a lot of our time and energy just to make South Africa a destination mm -hmm. of choice online. When we look at uh, tourism on the online platform, how does South Africa compare? What kind of presence does this particular market have? I think it's a destination we're doing very well. A lot of the work that we're doing online is getting uh, international recognition. Uh, we've just recently been uh, featured in the United Nations World Travel Organization's e-marketing handbook because of the work that we've done with TripAdvisor. Right. Um, that's massive for us because TripAdvisor is the number one destination marketing organization on the planet. So people go there to find out about where to go, what to do and what's available. So partnering with them has been critical for us. Um, depending on, on, again, what criteria you use, I think we're, we're doing well from a social media perspective. Mm. We have an amazing brand and an amazing destination to work with. So it's actually pretty easy to make South Africa look, uh, you know, very, very good online. But, I mean, if we look at the global picture, it would seem as if South Africa hasn't entirely tapped in to its e-tourism market fully. How are you involved in making sure that we're able to exploit those opportunities a little bit better? I think it's fair comment. I think in, in South Africa we've got uh, a thriving community, we've got an industry that's growing, but as much as it's growing we need to try and uh, use every opportunity to, to keep them up to speed with what's going on globally. And uh, that's that's why we have an annual summit, we call it the e-tourism uh, summit. We, we've had it for seven years, uh, it's been the biggest uh, than we've ever had before. We've had over 400 delegates this year and we've also been able to attract some delegates from uh, the, the Amer uh, Arab Emirates, uh, mm. from the States, from the UK. So that's really the platform that we use 
used to try and bring the local trade up to speed with what the global trends are, what technology is available to them, and how they can use that to better, you know, sell tourism as a, as a having some of those international delegates is really uh, exciting. I'm sure because it it should be a reflection of a trend where you're seeing other markets putting South Africa on as part of their e-tourism e offering. Look, Africa has grown as far as the, the travel arrivals uh, go, and it's, it's really been interesting to see that we've been well protected from the, the rest of the economic uh, climate that's, that's been so mm. you know, dreary. Um, so for us as, as a destination and um, as South Africa really being kind of like one of the core um, areas of Africa, we really are kind of shining the light and leading the way. So a lot of people pay very careful attention to what we do and see that as an opportunity to get into Africa. One of the big trends on the continent is we're seeing a move uh, by consumers away from uh, the the PC and the tablet and moving to mobile technology, should we expect uh, the same offering uh, on uh, the mobile handset? I think it's difficult. At the moment, you, you use your mobile device for different things. Um, you still use your, your desktop machine. A lot of the, the detailed research very often we see is being done mm. on the desktop. Uh, what you tend to use your mobile device for is when you're actually traveling. You know, what's, what's nearby? People are picking up their phones and saying, right. you know, what can I do? That So we have to understand that consumers behave differently mm. using different devices. The important thing for us as marketers is to be there to provide their needs each time that they're trying to, to find the information that's appropriate. I mean, we're, get, we're going into solicitation season uh, now which is also holiday season and a lot of South Africans are going to be trying to take their short lifts and uh, discover new destinations uh, within the country. If they were to go onto the website what should they be expecting? Well, I think the most important thing is that we want South Africans to take more, um, you know, travel gaps more often. So mm -hmm. shotlift.ca.za is where we've tried to aggregate a lot of really good, easy to find, easy to do and easy to share deals. So there is going to be the best place for you to find anything from a weekend getaway to, mm -hmm. you know, a romantic retreat to, you know, even a luxury type offering that you could get out of the big five game farm. So there's everything for, for anything for everyone. Everything and anything for everyone. William, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Of course, that was William Bird from Tourism South Africa. Now, after the break, this week's Tempting Town.